everybody. Catherine Hart here of Heart and Soul Studio, the unacting coach. So today I want to address an issue that I think sort of bugs or haunts or at least mm, you are aware of. If you are a beginner actor all the way through, I've been doing this my whole life, and that is rejection. So, I get a lot of questions about how do you deal with rejection, you know, and sometimes I'll get someone that says, oh, Ms. Hart, I need to come do a private session with you because I'm not getting any of the parts I go up for and I just am beside myself and I don't know what to do. Can you come in and I will work and see what I'm doing wrong? And I'll go, okay, sure, let's work on it. Uh, so how many things have you, you know, gone up for that you've lost? Five. Oh, come on, really? That's all? Oh my gosh, you're not an actor at all now, are you? Because <laughs> I've lost way more than that. I've been doing this my whole life. Now look, honestly, it's kind of a numbers game. Uh, haven't you seen really bad actors working? They beat some really good actor out for the audition. Don't take it so personally. It's like for every 10 to 20 auditions you do, you'll probably get one. If you're a really good actor. If you're a really bad actor, for every 20 or 30 auditions you do, you'll get one. <laughs> so, if you just do enough of them, you'll get one. I'm just telling you, that's the way it is. It's a numbers game. So, don't take it so personally. And if you do take it personally, and none of the tips I'm giving you or anyone else has given you helps you, and you just go home and beat yourself up every time you do an audition and you don't get it, you probably need to do something else with your life because my feeling is you don't you don't act because your life is acting you act because you want to be fulfilled in your life and acting is one of the things that you do that's truly fulfilling so if you're suffering more than you're feeling oh this is good I feel better about my life don't do it whatever it is don't do it anymore <laughs> Best advice ever given to me when I was a young actor and I, I went to one of my great mentors and I said, I want to be a professional actor. I've been acting for years and I've decided this is what I'm going to do for my whole life. What is the, the best advice you can give me? And I'm ready to write all this stuff down. And he looks me right in the eyes and he says, if there's anything else in this world that you can do and still be happy, do it. And he turns around and walks out the room. <laughs> that was it. But that's it. He's right. This is a profession of love. This is something that you're passionate about. It's in your soul. It's in your heart. Acting is sharing your heart with someone else. That's what it's about. It's not about getting rich and famous. It's not about, you know, superficially going like, I'm on TV. I know some people do it for that. I just wish you wouldn't. Because it, there is something magical inside of a great actor. And that is truly what we're buying. We're buying the magic inside of you. And if you get upset every time you go in for an audition, you lose it. You put that little light out a little bit more. You don't trust to turn it on the next time you go in because maybe they didn't like it. Come on. You, look, everybody's in a different mood when you go in there. Hey, you go into an audition and uh, you look just like the director's ex-wife that he just divorced. You ain't getting the part, no matter how good you are. You look like his cute daughter he loves, you're probably getting it, even if you stink. It's, it's like, you know, these are people. They're making decisions based on the moment. Like when you go shopping. Hey, you go and you find, ooh, I found like 10 shirts. I love all these shirts. And they're just, oh my gosh, I can't tell which one do I want the most. Okay, well, I don't want that one. I don't want that one. That's too small. That's too red. And then you narrow it down to five. And you go like, oh my gosh. I love them. I, they're all great. And somebody walks by and goes, oh, that's a cute shirt. Okay, that's the one I'm taking. <laughs> or I was like, um, i got to make up my mind, and I like them all right, and oh, there's something, I don't know, that one, that one has a little button on it I like. <laughs> okay, I'll take that one. Well, that's how they cast you. There is a great deal of depth and uh, importance that that directors, casting directors, put on getting the right people because this is their art. They love it. They want something brilliant. And then along with that is also a little bit of 
Mm, something on the wind that day. So don't take it to heart if you don't get something. And remember, every one of these casting directors and directors are hiring all the time. That's what they do for a living. So if they didn't choose you for one thing, it doesn't mean they didn't like you. They, they're going to come in, you started getting a track record with them, and they remember, oh, you were really good at that audition that you didn't get. Yeah, that's it. It doesn't matter. Hey, well, look, there's, there's a ton of things that can happen. I actually have a great anecdote I tell in my classes. Uh, I have a friend that is a casting director, and a number of years ago she thought she found the next superstar, or the first person she ever really discovered that was going to be amazing. She talks the director into taking a look at him, even though he's not right for the lead in the movie, but she says, this guy is so amazing, you're going to want to use him. The, the guy comes back in and auditions again in front of the director and the casting director, and the casting director looks at the director and says, see? And the director goes, he stinks. Now, it's not like the, 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 the actor, you know, froze up on the second time he went in. Casting director was still in there. She thought he was still brilliant. That the director didn't like him. Don't you like music you think is great and your friends don't like it at all? So, there's different people out there. And, like, my sister, Morgan Fairchild, one of the stories I always tell is, when she first went to New York, she got turned down over 200 times. It was more like 225, 27 times. No, 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 you're never going to work. You're too oh, glamorous and that's all out because it's hippie 60s time. You'll never work. And then she gets a job. They hired her not because she was, they wanted her. They hired her because she could remember the lines and they needed her whole, to, to fill in temporarily, you know, for a, for a space for, for a girl that hired on a daytime soap opera. They couldn't remember the words. They hired Morgan for the week, and then they're going to fire her. And at the end of the week, they didn't fire her because they got so many fan letters. And two weeks later, casting calls in New York were Morgan Fairchild lookalikes. And people had to look like her. Don't give up, guys. Don't worry about rejection. Rejection is just one step closer to getting someone to love you. Okay? Gosh, if we gave up after all the times we fell in love, oh, I'd never find the person that was really my soulmate. And also... A lot of times they don't tell you what they're really thinking. You're thinking they hate me, and they're thinking they love you. because You're an actor, so you must be paranoid and neurotic to start with, or you wouldn't even be doing this. You're thinking they hate you, they don't. They actually love you. And you find out six months later they give you the part, and you thought, like, really? I thought you hated me. No, we loved you. We, we, we loved you the second we saw you. When I, I went to Juilliard. I auditioned twice. First year, I go on audition, they send me the form letter. Thank you very much. You know, we're not interested. My mom makes me go back the second year. I go, okay. I go back and audition again. I get in. And then my first meeting with John Hausman, who was head of, of Juilliard, he says, oh, Dex, oh, I'm so glad. I really wanted you last year, you know, one of my top picks, but you were too young. And I went, where, where was that in my form letter? You didn't tell me that. You would have said, no. <laughs> I had no earthly idea. What if I never went back? I didn't know he liked me. So stop beating yourselves up. You're going to do the worst audition in the world that you've ever done, and they're going to hire you on the spot. And you're going to do the greatest audition, and they're not going to. And you'll never know what they're thinking, and don't even try to get in their heads. Would you want someone to try to get into yours? Ha! Ah, I know you don't want to get in mine. Okay, you know that too. So just lighten up on yourself, and just keep telling yourself, this is my moment. I love acting. It's a game. Someone has to watch me act when I go into this audition. And I got to act, and that was fulfilling next. And actually, what I tell my classes, I can't tell you the exact wording. I tell my classes in person because sometimes I curse in class. I'm sorry. I never do in my training videos. So you think I really don't, but I do. Anyway, I say, when you go for an audition, you always say, what the F? I'm just going to amuse myself. Party down and have a good time. Fill that room with your world, your happiness, your joy, your character. Create that. Change the space around you so it's yours. You own it. And you suck them in and you share that moment with them because you just love sharing your heart with another person. And that's what you love doing. Thank you. I'm done. Bye. And I'm not saying I don't want it. I'm not saying my heart doesn't get broken when I don't get one, but only for that long, because if it stays broken, 
I won't be able to turn my light on for the next one. So keep your, it's all mind over matter, guys. Just keep telling yourself, next. I personally do a spiritual lesson every time I do an audition, so maybe I didn't get it because the person that auditioned that got it wanted it just as much as I did, and I have to learn how to be as happy for another person as I would be for myself. <sighs> Tough lesson but one to worth learning, okay? So make it about doing something you love and know that eventually you'll get it. Work hard, show up prepared. Don't just go in there and wing it and not be and just, you know, like, oh, I don't know why I'm get, not getting anything. I never train, I never get any better, I never really want it, I don't really try. I'm just kind of doing it because I want to be rich and famous. Well, guess what? You don't deserve to win the audition. I hope you don't get it because someone else should get it instead of you. But if you're training, if you work, if you love it, if you prepare, if you give everything you can and you go in there, hey, and then let go of it all when you go in there. You can't want it when you go in there because if you want it, they smell it. Mm -mm, you won't get it. Go in there like, I don't really care. I'm going to have a good time. I'm going to party. I'm just going to do something I love. Play a game. Light up that room because someone's going to want you. And you know that. Hey, don't you buy lottery tickets? Someone's got to win. Go in there. Just have a great time. Do it because you love it. And then just enjoy the day. Something will happen. It always does.